Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build a trebuchet. So this is just going to be one of, um, I might make a few different types of kind of siege equipment. Um, I've already made a battering ram and also of course this trebuchet here. Um, so this one is based off a real one as well. I think it's the world's current biggest, you know, one that's able to be used. Um, so it's a pretty cool design. It's got the two wheels on the inside as well. Uh, that would actually be, you know, have people turning inside them, but because it's Minecraft, you just can't fit inside them. Um, so the materials you're mainly going to use, if you want it exactly the same as this boat, though, you can just switch out the different types of wood planks for whatever you want. Uh, but what I've used for the base and also the main structure is birch wood. So I've got the slab, stair, and also the full block of that. And for the wheel and also the, the kind of place where you actually get the main weight in it, I've used oak wood. So you've got the slab, stair, and also full block of that. And for the main kind of wood part, I just use the oak wood and also there's a bit of cobblestone right at the end. And you're just going to need a fence and a few buttons, um, but we'll do that all at the end. So let's get started. Okay, so for the first thing we're going to do is just lay down the base. So you're just going to go with your kind of base colour. You're just going to go forwards by 11. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then one block over, you're going to do the same. This is going to determine where the actual direction is. So um, these two here are the bits we've just done, so that will determine your kind of direction of it, um, and the other bits just work around. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to count back three blocks, so you got one, two, three, and on the fourth you're just going to come out and add three, so you got one, two, three here. Same on, uh, kind of, it's kind of symmetrical on both sides, so you got three here, three here. And then with your slabs, what you're going to do is you're just going to come on the inside here, so you've just got these kind of diagonals like this, so then, uh, that one's going to count as a diagonal, so you've got one here, here as well, just like this. That's the same on the other side as well, of course. Just got these diagonals like this. Like that. And then you're going to have slabs just in this middle section here, just on the kind of upper side. Uh, these bits that are going to cross with the freeze, you can actually join them in with four blocks. And then just kind of every other one you're getting a slab in like that, so you get a kind of bit of difference um, as if it's bracing there. And then the wheels go in this section here, so just put in your other kind of wheel colour, which I'm using oak wood. So you've just got a full block in the middle, and then you've got your upside down stairs here. Just on the upside, kind of there, so you're just creating this kind of circular part here. And then what you're going to do is, just on this part here, you're going to have a full block, and then you're just going to have two slabs just joining into this part here. It's going to be another one of the kind of main supports to go up, I'm just connecting to it like that. So it's quite a complex base, uh, but hopefully you guys have got on with that alright. So now what you're going to do is you're going to have, on this part here, you're going to have a stair, and then you have an upside down stair just on the back then a full block here, and then you're going to have your oak wood going across, and it'll be the same on the other side as well, so get your stair, upside down stair, and then you've got your main plank there, and then you're just going to have this, so this is going to be the actual wheel that actually turns, and then this is where it's going to get a bit complicated, actually I think we're going to just take this out for the time being, um, but just on the inside part you're going to put stairs on this here, and then you're going to have a stair on the outside as well, like this, we're just going to create circle so then you've got a full block on this part and then you can have stairs like this and then the upside down stairs on the inside a stair this way and this way just like that so you're basically creating a circle what I'll do is because that bit is quite complicated I'm just gonna build it with you guys outside of it so you basically got your this is what your base is like this and all you're doing is uh, basically going out I'll just grab some stairs here so you've got this stair here, and then you're just doing this. So you're just creating this pattern going around. So you've got stair blocks there, and you've got stair blocks there. And again, you'll have stair blocks stair up here. If I can place it right. Like this. So you're doing is creating this, um, which doesn't look very circular at the minute. And then all we're doing is basically putting slab, uh, not slab, stairs, just on the inside like that. And then it makes it look a lot more kind of circular. Um, so you guys can build the other one exactly the same with this as well. And now if you grab your oak wood and we'll do it exactly the same as we were going to do earlier, just bring this through the middle. Grab your fence and you're just going to put them in the kind of gaps. There should be four in total that you can put your fence in. It's got four here. Just like that. And now what we're going to do is just on this front part, just right here, we're going to have two planks going straight up, so it's the same on the other side, so it's kind of completely symmetrical. Then we're going to have the stair, then we're going to have the upside down stairs on that side as well, so you've got stairs there, then upside down stairs, 
just like that. I'm just gonna have a block on top of these, and then a stair, and an upside down stair, and again, it's the same on the other side, so you've got block, stairs, upside down stairs, and again, same pattern, so you've got block, just on each of these, and your stairs, upside down stairs as well. And then when you get with this one block in between, there is another one, <laughs> okay. So there's another one, so you're just going to put your blocks on, and then again, put it, just, just put your stairs on for this, this kind of part. And then we're just going to join these with a block here, and that'll be just a slab on the top part, like this. And then if we come just to the inside before it gets too hectic in here, just where we've got this wheel part, there is actually a kind of straight part that just goes all the way to the top. And we'll just connect all the way in. Just like that, so you've just got these two straight bits. It does go kind of through this wheel. That's the kind of bit that's joining the two wheels. Now, just like we did the, the kind of uh, block stair part, we're just going to do this on here as well. We've just got the stair, the upside down stair, and then the block stair, upside down, and there you go, stair, like that, until it joins in here, just until it connects into this part. And it's the same on the other side as well, so you just get your stair, and upside down stair, and then your block stair, upside down stair block and then just your stair that will just connect in like that and then all you need to do is just through this part here just on this block here we're just going to cut out so it's just before just kind of for this part and then we're just going to have your oak wood going through like this and I just had it sticking over by one on each side and then put a button on like this and then on the back part just add nine so you got one two three four five six seven eight and nine just like that, and then if you grab your fence and come down by three, so you got one, two, and three, and then this is where whatever's going to be thrown is going to be there. You could create some sort of basket, or you could use a cauldron as well. That might be quite a good idea. Um, and then just put your buttons. I just put my buttons around the outside of this part like that. Also, a couple of buttons just here. And then for the actual kind of counterweight part, what you're going to do is you're going to have just add four here. So you got one, two, three, four, and then just one in. You're just going to place down this part here, then you're going to have wooden plank, then you're going to have stair on this part, and also on the inside like this, then you have three wooden planks, it does get a bit mess messy here, so just creating this kind of box, and then just on the bottom I just put a couple of extra slabs like that just to make it look a little bit thicker, but there you go guys, it's a pretty kind of compact and uh, fiddly tutorial, but hopefully you guys haven't got stuck. Um, so if you like this tutorial, make sure you give me a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.